Hey guys, I mean, I have pink eye. I have some sort of sinus infection. My husband and baby now both have stomach viruses. What better time to start a 24 hour reading vlog? I don't even know if I'll make it through it without getting sicker, but like I'm literally, can you see my eye? <laughs> I'm getting over it. It's not got goopy stuff coming out of it. But anyway, um, it is right now 7.51 PM, which is why the lights are down low because I am getting ready for bed and I'm just gonna read the rest of the night. So I'm starting this at eight o'clock. We're gonna start the clock at eight. That means I'll read from eight o'clock tonight to eight o'clock tomorrow. I know some people do 24 hour readathons differently where they literally read for 24 hours no matter how long it takes them to do it. They just set a timer on their phone and it's like 24 hours even if it takes them like three days or five days or whatever. I feel like that's not very accurate. Like I just don't care how much you can read in a 24 hour time span that's exactly 24 hours where it's just reading. Like I wanna know a true normal 24 hours how much I can read. <laughs> um, so here's the plan. We have two books um, on tap. I don't think I'd finish them, but I mean, I suppose it's possible, but I could always go get another book just in case. But anyway, the first book that I'm gonna be reading physically is The Last Heir to Blackwood Library by Hester Fox. This is like a mystery, like cozy, not cozy, but it is a, like a, you know, like a manor. <laughs> um, it's like an old abbey. I think it's, oh my gosh, wait, there's magic. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just spoiled myself by the blurb on the front. I didn't even know there was magic. It says an atmospheric and heartbreaking tale of loss and dark magic. Oh my gosh, okay, well, <laughs> didn't realize there was gonna be magic, but that's pretty cool. Um, I've read like 29 pages and it is so fast moving. Like it is ridiculous how much has already happened. The whole setup has already come and gone. She's like inherited this estate and now she's on her way there. I just out of the blue and I was like, whoa, okay, we're chapter three and we're already on our way to this mansion. So anyway, I feel like there's going to be secrets at this place and apparently magic and it's about a library. So I think it's just going to be fun. I'm not expecting it to be like the best thing in the world, but I'm sure it'll be fun. So I'm a little ways into that one, but it's not very long. So we'll see if we can get it finished reading physically. Then I'm also going to be reading The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is the first of a, I think just a duology. And I think it's by Carissa Broadbent. Everybody's been talking about this book like nonstop on booktube. And I feel like nobody said it's wonderful. They just say it's kind of fun. I am like 37% of the way through the audiobook. So I'm gonna continue listening to this one audiobook, especially as I'm like doing some cleaning. I'll show you some stuff I'm doing tomorrow, organizing some stuff in the kitchen. We're gonna make some fun little weird like, Japanese donut things I bought in a little box kit because I found it and while I was cleaning stuff out so I thought that'd be fun for us to do <laughs> but anyway while I'm cleaning and doing other random tasks and maybe even like exercising and stuff I'm going to be listening to this book so it's vampires and it's fantasy romance from what I hear I actually just saw a review recently that said it's more fantasy than romance the romance is a little more low-key than like fourth wing or something but I have to say I just read fourth wing last like well actually no, it was this month it was just a few weeks ago and I enjoyed it <laughs> more than I thought I would and so far I like Fourth Wing way better than I do The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I liked the beginning of this book with the setup and like the world building with all the vampires and like different factions of vampires and different types of vampires and stuff like that but then what I don't like is that it's a competition story like they have to face these trials in a competition setting and I'm I just don't like that I've realized it so I just don't care <laughs> about that part of the plot so anyway I'm gonna continue I don't know that I'll read the sequel I guess it just depends on how the rest of this book goes for me but I'm a little over a third of the way so we'll see if I can also get it finished I think I have five and a half hours left because I'm listening to it on 1.75 times speed so I think it tells me that at that rate I it will take me still five and a half hours to finish it which I would think I can finish in 24 hours because I should have a lot of listening time if I'm doing nothing else so those are our plans tonight though right now we're gonna try a mask <laughs> I bought a giant bag of face masks that took like three weeks to come in from Amazon and they are from Korea something I don't know maybe I don't know they're like literally like this it's in a different language like what the heck I don't even know where these are from but there's like all these weird ones snail collagen mask gin red ginseng collagen mask um olive collagen mask so I thought we would just reach into the bag and pick one at random because I think they're all I don't know if they're all different but there's a lot of different ones so we're just gonna reach in and whichever one we pick is the one that we're gonna put on our face tonight <laughs> our face my face there's only one face Rose, huh, okay, rose collagen mask is smooth. Oh, it tells you what they are. This one is soothing, convergence, convergence of what? And moisturizing. Okay, so we will go do that while we're reading. I thought that'd be fun. 
Um, and I can listen to my audiobook, of course, while I'm doing that because I won't be able to see because I can't put my glasses back on. So let's go do our mask. And yeah, we're going to read for 24 hours. The baby is going to daycare tomorrow. There's nothing that I have to do except for like one thing. But I honestly don't even think I have to leave the house unless it's just, well, it's take Ash to daycare, which I can listen to the audiobook at least while I'm driving around because I have to get my allergy shots and stuff. Anyway, I'll keep you updated, but I just wanted to start the vlog. It is now 7.57. So I got to go get my headphones in so that in three minutes I can start listening to my audiobook. So, all right, well, let's see right now how much I can read in 24 hours. Ooh, jump scare. <laughs> what do you think? This is the rose mask. Uh, I can't even hardly talk with it on, I feel like. So, yeah, it's like nine o'clock and I'm going to bed because I'm sick and I'm tired and I'm sleepy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna wait like 10 more minutes and take this off and listen to my audiobook. I made it to page like 50 something, like 52 or 53 of the other book out of 300 or a little less than 300 even because it's on my iPad and there's, I think that there's, there's really more than 300 pages, but it's like they're big pages with a lot of words on them. Anyway, I'm about a sixth done, whatever that percentage is. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to read till I just like listen to my audio book till I fall asleep and then start reading first thing in the morning. I'll keep you updated on what all we do tomorrow. So good night. Well, I'm going to try to awkwardly vlog in the car while two other cars are parked next to me. So this is fun. <laughs> I'm waiting on my shot place to open for I get my allergy shots, but they don't open till like 830 and it's not quite 830. So I thought I'd sit here and read, but I want to give you an update just really quickly because something crazy has already happened. I've DNF'd one of the two books I said I was going to read in this vlog and I've switched it for another book. <laughs> so I've decided to DNF Serpent and the Wings of Night. The first, like, maybe 10 or 15%, it wasn't bad. I liked, like I said, the lore and the, the information that we got about vampires, the magic system. But then it just turned into, like, a competition story. But I just don't care about anything that's going on. I can't connect to anything. The characters, the atmosphere, the writing, the plot, the entry, the logic, just the enjoyment. The, that's basically the call pile rating system right there. Um, nothing. Like, nothing interests me anymore. And I just don't see a point in continuing. So, I might read a plot summary just to see how it ends and maybe even a summary of book two. But... Fourth Wing was like infinitely better than this one, so I'm just not into it, which means I had to pick a new book. So this morning I was looking through all my audiobook options that I have, um, ones that I already have available to me, and I was like, okay, I already have one, downloaded on my phone, I've been meaning to read it for a while, it's really short because I wanted a book I could finish in one day. So Lexi from Alexander Rosalind one of my favorite booktubers. She is the one that told, told everybody about this book. Like, I don't know that anybody's heard of this book. I mean, I'm sure they have, but she is the one that like told me about it anyway. So without further ado, that book is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon. I can't remember the author's name, <laughs> but it is very short. So like the audiobook right now, I'm like 10% or a little more in like 12% and I'm listening to it on like 1.75 times speed and I only have three hours and 45 minutes left. So, okay, there's somebody coming in now. I'm like feeling really awkward. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think I can finish reading it in one day. That's the plan anyway. And so it's a rom-com that is like, I mean, seriously, a fan, it's like a fantasy rom-com is what it is. Literally this woman that's a like sp spice farmer and her name is Cinnamon <laughs> and she gets drunk and she saves a demon and that's what's happened so far. <laughs> so I think they're going to learn that like some things they've been told in their village are not actually like accurate because they're like there's this goddess that like protects their people but I don't think apparently it's not really a goddess and so anyway like the actual story sounds pretty cool so far too but I'm really intrigued as to where like this romance is going to go. The main character um, is an African-American female protagonist and she is hysterical and like I'm listening to the audiobook and the narrator is so funny but because it uses modern day slang <laughs> so it's like if you put a person in modern or you know from like modern times into this fantasy setting like this is how she talks and so I just found it like really really amusing so anyway going so far so good um, I'm gonna sit here and read in the car on my physical book for just a minute and I'll update you more on that one later okay finally breakfast time I just need to show you my breakfast because I bought this yesterday at Kroger and I'm super excited about it and I found this reduced 50% less sugar it's actually only got like I want to say seven grams of sugar yeah seven grams of added sugar for two-thirds of a cup which is probably what I use so that's actually not that bad compared to a lot of them so here it is uh mixed together and I put a little bit of honey in the yogurt because this is going to be super sour and I can't taste anything yeah I can't taste anything and haven't been able to taste anything for almost a week now because I've been sick so um we're gonna taste test this together and see what we think can't really taste it we're also gonna work on this 
mess <laughs> because I cleaned out this cabinet. Well, except for those that I couldn't reach yet. So I have to go through and get those, but we're also going to clean out this cabinet because it's really bad. But yeah, this has got to get all the stuff that was expired has already been thrown away, but we have a pasta problem as you can see. <laughs> so we're going to reorganize and listen to our audiobook while we do that. Oh, and I forgot to show you my drink of the video. Cherry slush Alani, because that's what um, Destiny oh, from Destiny said well always talks about. Now, like I said, I can't really taste very much, but to me it tastes like cough medicine. So I don't know why she likes this. I think I'm gonna make coffee instead. This is not, this is not a good drink of the video. Okay, quick update. It doesn't look like I've been anywhere, but I have. We had to take our dog to the vet for her just like checkup and shots and stuff. And it took like an hour and a half. And at first I wasn't gonna go, but I was like, I don't want my husband to have to go by himself just so I can sit here and read. Turns out we were gone forever. It is now 11.20. This 24 hour reading vlog is not going very well. <laughs> but I have read 25% now of that time I got drunk and saved a demon. And it's really good. Like it's so fun and really fast paced. They're on an adventure together now. I feel like all the setup part is done and they're in like the midst of the actual adventure together. And I feel like the romance is already gonna start like really soon. So. I'm more of like the slow build kind of romance person though. I'd rather like take a long time and not have the romance actually happen until much later in the book because once it does, then I just don't care anymore. <laughs> so I'm intrigued to see how that goes. Also, cotton candy seltzer water, which I can taste a little bit. Mm. We also stopped and got some beer cheese, which is actually really good. I, we got this spicy one uh, at this little farm like right next door to us and it was really good. Uh, what else? Okay, now I'm gonna go read my physical book that I keep talking about reading and then we're gonna come back and clean out the kitchen. I did clean out a little bit earlier, but I didn't get very far. It's lunchtime and I'm a third of the way through each book. So that's exciting. Surprisingly, I'm actually liking The Last Air of Blackwood Library better because I don't know where it's going than I am the time I got drunk and saved the demon, <laughs> which it's still fine, but right now it's like eh, three stars. It was better at the beginning because it was funnier. Now I don't care as much about what's happening, but I'm really into the last year of Blackwood Library. I don't know why people give it such a hard time or give it such a bad rap, but maybe it gets worse. I hear it's like maybe halfway through, it just takes a turn. I don't know if there's gonna be like a secret society or what, but anyway, I'll let you know more about that as I get a little further and see how it goes. But right now I'm a third of the way through each book. It's 1230, here's what I'm having for lunch. You know, super healthy lunch here. These little taquitos, oh my gosh, they do get crunchy after you like let them sit for a little bit. <laughs> A green smoothie and I'll probably actually make another set of these here in a minute but you can only do like three at a time so yes that's where we're at and now we're gonna go work on organizing yay okay I switched glasses and I'm ready to work out <laughs> um I, my glasses are like way too tight because I had them adjusted so anyway I had to switch back to my old glasses but they're the same prescription so anyway um we finished the kitchen my husband actually wound up helping with she did, he did pretty much most of it <laughs> we did more drawers than I anticipated Marie Kondo is right like she says you got to do all of everything at once like so if you're gonna do one like food cabinet you basically have to do everything that has food in it so that you can put everything where it needs to be we wound up with a whole extra drawer so that's exciting um but yeah we actually did a pretty good job I guess I should take you on a tour of it but you probably don't care so I won't <laughs> um but anyway I'm plugging along on the books and I'm gonna keep listening to the audiobook it's like 1 30 now we pick up the baby I think Zach will probably get around 3 30 so I've got like two hours till we get him um so I won't have hardly any reading time after that so you know I'm not gonna get to finish my books in 24 hours but I think I only have like two hours left of the audiobook so I'll definitely finish it today but not anytime soon. Um, the audiobook still just, it's fine. There are some funny moments. It is getting a little spicy now with the romance, um, but they haven't like completely fallen in love yet. But I kind of like the premise of like this little deal they've made um, about their relationship. I don't want to tell you because it would spoil it too much. But anyway, that's in the demon book. In the other book, I am really intrigued. I think I'm more intrigued by that book and I can't wait to read more of it. It's just so like cozy and I actually, it's, so it's set in London. I actually know two different people that are in England right now. Like what are the chances of that? They're taking trips. So I'm just like, oh, everybody's in London. I'm always, I'm reading about London. I guess I'm just gonna have to go to London. But anyway, let's go work out even though I'm still sick, <laughs> but I'm getting better. I think I could probably do it. Uh, work out and listen to the audiobook. Look at this nice view outside. Very pretty. Here's my book. I am uh on page 88 well so i'm not even quite a third almost a third and it is 217 so we gotta get to reading before we get the boy from daycare so here we are playing at school um didn't get a oh can you say hi hi <laughs> Good job. So you had the internet. Yep. So yeah, I didn't think we'd be at school, but here we are roaming around. I got just a little bit more reading done. So I'll do a final update later tonight or first thing in the, well, probably yeah, later tonight at the 24 hour mark to let you know. I didn't get as much reading done as I hoped, but now I kind of know at least like how much I could read in 24 hours. 
guys, it is time for bed and my hair's wet. So we're just gonna wrap up this video. Um, my husband and I are getting ready to sing karaoke because we got this really awesome karaoke game. <laughs> so we're gonna go sing randomly, but um, we just put the baby down to sleep. It is eight o'clock on the dot. Oh, well, I like 8.02? No three, something like that. Um, I'm trying to find out, but I can't see it. Anyway, um, it is really close to eight o'clock. So it is basically 24 hours. I did not succeed as much as I thought, but I've realized what it is. So basically I can't like just read. <laughs> Even if I know that's all I have to do for 24 hours, I'm like, oh, I have to clean out things in the kitchen and help my husband with stuff. Yeah, I'll go to the doctor's appointment for or the vet appointment with my dog and my husband, even though they could have just gone by themselves or, you know, I should sit down and do this, but really I need to do these other things. And like, I just kept getting distracted. And so I'm not very good at just reading. I've realized that. So I'm not just going to put pressure on myself to read just for 24 hours because that's silly. But I have seen that, you know, I can take the time to sit down and read and it was nice and especially when I'm like really into a book so the book I'm actually really into is The Last Heir to Blackwood Library I think I kept saying of Blackwood Library it's definitely to The Last Heir to the Library by Hester Fox I am about a third of the way into it so not very far um, I would have liked to have read more but whatever <laughs> I didn't actually read that much on it today but I still re am really enjoying it it's the one I'm liking the most out of the two books I'm reading right now um, and I, I don't know what kind of turn it's going to take. I don't know. It's going to take a turn. I know it's, I guess it's going to be magic and I, I don't know if it's magic or ghost or, or like right now it's seeming like it's going to be a ghost kind of thing that's haunting this library, but like something creepy is about to happen. And I feel like it's going to happen soon since I'm a third of the way in. I feel like the first third was set up. The second third is probably going to be something is going to escalate. And then the last third is probably going to go off the rails and be crazy. And I don't know if I like it or not. So, I mean, that's just my prediction. We'll see. But I'm really enjoying it right now. I don't know why people are giving it a bad rap. It has a pretty low rating on Goodreads, honestly. Let me check the baby. I've got him pulled up on the camera. Oh, let's make sure he's doing okay. Uh, while we do that, yeah, he's just laying there with his eyes open in the crib. It's good. I'm um, just staring at the camera. <laughs> but the, you know, I DNF'd the serpent and the wings of night. That's the uh, big thing that really happened in this video after reading like over 40% of it because it just, nothing in it was interesting me. And then I am now 50 something percent 60 percent six i think i'm 60 percent yeah of the way through the time i got drunk and saved a demon so i only have an hour and a half left because i'm listening to it now on two times speed i was able to speed it up so i could finish it literally in an hour and a half which i could finish it tonight if i just want to sit here and listen but actually we're gonna sing karaoke so i'm not gonna do that but i will definitely finish it tomorrow i'm going to school to do some work tomorrow some of it's kind of mindless so i could listen to the audiobook and i will definitely be finishing it and then i'm going to start the counselors by jessica goodman and read it tomorrow as well so hopefully I'll get through most of it too in school. But anyway, so that's just a little wrap up of what all's going on. And hopefully this has been at least a little bit interesting to you, but I don't know. I don't know what I've learned. I've just learned that 24 hours, I'm not going to do any 24 hour reading vlogs and I'll probably do, I'll never do another one <laughs> unless I do that whole like starting the timer and reading for 24 hours and see how much I can read. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if anybody really cares about those. So um, anyway, thank you guys for watching this really random video and I will talk to you again later. Bye.